the everyone, and welcome back to Bannerlord. Last time around, we joined the Southern Empire as a mercenary. Didn't turn out too well for us, or the Southern Empire, since the Southern Empire is no longer there. Um, as we look onto the map, we can see that the strongest empire, or empire culture nation, is the Northern Empire. So we're gonna join that, and we're gonna join that as a proper vassal this time around, which I'm sure he will allow us to, because we have gained quite a bit of reputation since that time. And, oh yes, this is the evil oracle child, but more on that later. We find ourselves in the little village of Athrion, just as the uh, leader, Lucon of the Northern Empire arrives, and we're gonna join him, but first I want to show you a little bit of how it looks on the campaign map right now. So the Northern Empire was able to move in and they took two of the cities that the as the Southern Empire crumbled. They've also moved to the west and they've secured two other holdings over here. Comparatively, though, we can see that the two factions that are really the strongest, we can see how the Asurai has carved out quite the empire, and we can also see how the Mongols have carved out quite a bit of an empire. They moved through the north here with a alarming speed, I must say. I was quite surprised that they were able to move as quickly as they did. Did I do not think they start with all of this. Um, oftentimes I don't pay attention too much, but they have severely uh, uh, cut down these uh, blue guys, the um, Sturgians, I believe they're called. So it doesn't look too well for uh, the Empire or any other faction for that reason. Um, so it's an uphill struggle, but hopefully we'll be able to turn this around. With all of that said, let's go ahead and talk to Lucon. I would like to discuss something. I would like to enter your service, sir. And how would you serve us? I would like to, be pl to pledge my allegiance to you and be counted among your loyal followers. You are known as a brave warrior and fine leader of men, John. I shall be pleased to accept your sword into my service, if you are ready to swear homage to me. I am ready, Lucon. Good. Then repeat the words of the oath with me. I swear by my ancestors that you are lawfully right emperor of the Caladrians. I affirm that you are the executor of the will of the Senate and the people. Furthermore, I accept induction into the army of Caladria at the rank of Achron. And as such, that you are my commander and I shall follow you wherever you lead. Very well. You have given me your solemn oath, John. May you uphold it always with proper courage and devotion. I proclaim you citizen of the Empire, of the rank of Senator. Your life and property shall be protected by our laws and shall not be taken from you except by law. You may serve as a magistrate over towns and villages as you, uh, and as a general over armies if we can call upon you to do so. You have done wise thing, John. Sir me well, and I promise you, you will rise high. Thank you, my emperor. I have great hopes for you, John. I know that you shall prove yourself worthy with the trust I've placed in you. Damn right, you placed a lot of trust. You made me a bloody senator? Now I'm not entirely sure how how high that puts me, but he gave me the rank of senator. Right, um... 
So this is everyone in the land and it's their different holdings. As far as I can see, I guess I hold nothing. He holds quite a lot. He holds two castles and two towns. Then we've got this family holding a lot, this one, and so on, and I'm not here. Normally you always get a, um, you get a, um, little village when you join as a vassal. But I guess this is not the case, so I have no, what's this? State monopolies. Okay, so they've, uh, they have a lot of different... Things I well, let's not worry about that right now. Uh, currently, there's one army. Diplomacy is most important, so we are at war with the green guys, the Batanians. Right now, the total strength we have numbered them quite a lot. Casualties inflicted, though, the enemy has inflicted quite a lot of casualties. Successful sieges, successful raids. They have, they prove to be a noble fighting force, as the, even though the total strength there, they even managed to inflict quite a lot. But then uh, we know kind of where to go. Now, I want a fief them to myself. Now, it would be nice if these green guys had anything. Seemingly, they don't. As far as I can tell, all the castles are taken. Not that I'm sure that I would be able to take a castle with the force I have right now. We could certainly draw to battle with them, and that's exactly what we're going to do. All the villagers, as they have quite few, are probably going to all be burnt by the time we get even close to that. But we can see about finding war parties to fight, and so we will move... Um, move to recruit as many men as possible. Now, I've been thinking about getting a business. Uh, setting up a business because my party is starting to run quite high in terms of daily wages. Um, now, I know they capped it uh, when you make businesses. Normally, it was I think it was, uh, at the start anyways, it was rampant and people made millions. Now they capped it at about 200. 200 is still okay, I think. Um, I'll make a lot of money and we'll be able to set those up. And I'll be able to take a little bit of that uh, headache away. Because um, having to fight constantly to just have that upkeep going um, is a bit, a bit of a concern. To constantly have that in your back of your mind, I need to be able to pay for the guys and so we need to fight so we need that constant uh... so anyways it would ease up on that if I was able to actually set up a business and what better way than to move to their capital which I think is the Athma um, anyways I was told that the well the uh, the uh, Emperor controls Agron and the Athma so it's either of them uh, but I think this one, just by the placement of it, looks like it'd be one of the last places the enemy would be able to take from us. Uh, so there is where we're going, and we're going to see about setting up a business. Here I am, a senator of Rome. Let's move inside, and I see if we cannot uh, buy out a business. It's going to be rather expensive. I... Are you actually... Supposed to look like that. Where's your armor, soldier? Oh, he's a mercenary. Well, I certainly don't need you. You know, just, just stand there, you moron. Um, right, let's take a look around town. So, it took me a while to actually figure out how to buy a business. Um, apparently you have to kind of go and find it. So we'll have to be walking around here for a bit. And see what kind of people we run into. There's a bit of a glitch there when I disappeared. Probably need a purple shirt for her as well. Let's see. As we pass through. Good citizen, good citizen. Is this a business? I think it might be. 
No, this is just people standing around looking businessy. Not, re not really, though, but... I mean, there's a guy with a thing on his back. Alright, wait a minute, what's going on here? We've got two thugs. Lots of thugs, actually. What's he talking about? Let's talk to this fellow. What do you want? Just passing through. What's going on here? Now then, if you're asking, we're looking after the honest folk here. Make sure that no one smashes their shop. Okay, so it's a mafia. And if they want to give us a coin or two in the way of saying thanks, well, who'd mind? Also, suppose someone want to buy some goods and didn't want to pay the customs tax, we might be able to help that person out. Also, we help out those who are down on their luck. Give them a purse of silver to tie them up with a bit of uh, selective interest, naturally. Right. Now, did he just say get lost? Just having a look. What's going on? I don't like taking orders from the likes of you! Now then, fight me! I'm a senator of Rome! You thugs! Oh! Is it... Okay, I guess I'm... I guess I moved out of, um... Out of range. I'm not <laughs> entirely sure what happened there. Uh, I guess they realized the superiority. That they were dealing with the se- Oh, wait. Uh, my woman. Oh. Right. The medic. You bastard! Um... I don't want to take the orders from you. Right, you want some of this? Right, that's more like it. Right, we're passed on to the screen out here. You've cleared some members of a gang off in a territory they claim. Do you want to stay here to make sure that others don't try to take it back? Um... You know what? Let's try it out, shall we? You see some rough-looking men start to gather some distance away. You suspect that they are waiting for reinforcements and building up their courage to fight. You are waiting for them to come closer. This looks like they're going to be a gang fight. Laria the Mouse. I... Sorry, I don't think I know you. I am Senator John. And who are you? I am Laria. Ask around to me, and you'll find someone you don't want to mess with. What have we here? I heard you trashed some of my lads. So you thought that you'd, you're th tougher than you look. That's what it said. Uh, but I'll have you know that just the first arrow in my quiver. Leave now and let live. Stay, and I'll give you a fight you won't walk away from. Go on, I'm ready for more. Lads! Did you hear me? Check them down. Follow me! Follow me! Right, we need... Oh, here they come. We need to find a better location to fight them. Clearly, I didn't get all my party. We'll fight them in the narrow passage over here. Hurry! They're closing in! I'd like to gain the, uh, the higher ground as well. Let's see if we can't find something over here. It starts off with me running away. But we're uh, just going to lead them to a place where we can hopefully do a better job in taking them down. Alright, uh, up through there, through the marketplace. Let's go. Are oh, they closing in? Don't get lost. Among the cucumbers! Right, Everyone. here we'll hold. Forward. Move. Here she comes! Come 
Get the bastards! Well, that was a close fight. But we victorious in this gang war. They should know better than to take on a Roman senator. You have now defeated the thugs, though guarding the alley. My relationship with Laria the Mouse has decreased. But we've increased our relationship with the gutter knife. Which we can clearly see. She looks rather... I don't know what she looks like. But anyways, let's see if we can't actually go ahead and do what we originally set out to do. And that was... Uh, acquire a business. Standing right outside the brewery. Perfect place, because who doesn't like beer? Beer always sells. So let's go ahead and see if we cannot acquire this place. First things after acquiring this is obviously someone needs to take care of the fact that there's snow all over the floor. Maybe even shut that so the snow doesn't actually get in. Uh, we've got a worker right here. Brewing up some... Uh... Right, let's see what we have. I would like to buy this workshop. Cost me 14,000, which is a lot. But, uh, in the long run, it'll probably save me a bit of uh, cash. Yes. What kind of workshop would you want to open here? Oh, I can open a lot of different things. Hmm. I could velvet, linen, wine, pottery, olives, wool, tannery, Wooden workshop, smithy, silversmith. On a second thought, I don't want to change the production. I think to start off, it's probably wise not to change it. Uh, the prices for a lot of these things, or the goods w in which we make into stuff, so wood could be um, very expensive in these parts. Not that I think that, but then starting a wooden workshop here probably doesn't work that well. I think whoever set up the the brewery probably know where they were going with that. So I think we'll just keep it as it is. Uh, Margrain is taken and brewed into beer. A few things keep the common folk, folks and troop as happy as beer. Just as I said. Are you sure you want to open a brewery? Yes. That cost me quite a bit, but now we have beer, and I'd say it w well worth it. Uh, now, for the fact that I uh, spent all that money, we need to gain some money. So, let's see if those uh, northern barbarians have some loot for us. Traveling to the west to have our steel clash against the enemy's shields, we find this guy. He was already chased by two different lords, as we can see up here. Andros' party and Mirion's party. Both uh, outnumbering me and being more senior lords or senators of the Northern Empire. Um, unfortunately for Oros, he only has 35 men left. Actually, he had 35 to start off with. Um, or do they count? Yeah, he's got 30... 35 plus 1 wounded. Um, I am Lord John, or I am Senator John, I should say. And who are you? I am Oros. I am afraid I have to consider you my enemy. I think you find it the other way around. I would invite you to surrender and not have your men die. But uh, I imagine that your honor does not allow it. And so... We will have to fight. So even worse for this guy, the militia of the local time of time, <laughs> the local fishing village of Gaimos or Gaimos, um, actually joins in, and I'm not entirely sure, but maybe even those forest bandits will have a go at him. Everyone, 
Follow me! Follow me! Let's see if we can't... I'm moving up quickly to meet the enemy head on. As I want my men to gain most of the experience. I think we have the enemy leader right there. Or maybe it's just... One of the few cavalry guys he has. I'll order my men to go ahead and attack. Charge in. There's so few of them that I doubt we'll have any trouble defeating these guys. We want to claim as much of the loot as possible. Oh, there come the army. They hold pretty well because I realized that quite a few of them are actually uh, Empire soldiers. I'm pretty sure this guy right here is a Triorii. Oh, now we have a few guys running away. But, I mean, we had no trouble dealing with these guys. It's interesting that we actually get to fight in the village. I didn't think that. Yeah, it was the Triorii. I was right. Yeah, it kind of looked... Given the helmet that Oros was wearing, I was uh, suspecting that he was a traitor. Well, I wouldn't... Uh, I wouldn't uh, chalk this up victory to our skill more than our numbers. As we outnumber them 270 to 35. But a victory nonetheless. And a start to a good relationship with the Northern Empire. Sir, you are at my mercy. I really like this. That I am the one that get to take you prisoner. Because I'll probably be able to sell him for quite a lot. Uh, we've got troops. Prisoners. Uh, a lot of these prisoners could be recruited directly into my party. Uh, troops. So these are the ones that I can actually bring directly into my party. Hillmen and brigands. It would be the, it kind of looked like it was the other way around. Like the prisoners would have been transferred uh, in directly into my army. And the hillmen would have been uh, kept as prisoners. Uh, probably be able to fetch quite a good price for Oros, hopefully. And I'm sure some of these will be able to sell. Um, don't want troops that aren't Imperial in my army. Right, let's continue on, shall we? After that battle, we continue on our way towards the front line. As we reach the front line and set up camp in the closest town, we get news from the south. The Azurai has declared war on us, so there's a more pressing matter coming from the south. But with that said, I'm going to end the video right here, and hopefully, I hope that everyone enjoyed this one, and hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye! Archers, fire at will!